Well, good morning. Okay, mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, so this is video recorded, yeah. so you can watch it anytime, you don't have to, you don't have to do live, we did the, we did the, um, the chat call mm -hmm. to the chat yesterday, and, and, and nobody was able to get on, of course that's a little bit more of a particular thing, yeah. that you can't, you can't watch it, <clears throat> not just any time, anyway, so this is just a, a simple a personal Bible study that, that Nancy and I do, and we're doing in the uh, book of James. So let's just pray and get right into it. Father, we love you. We thank you so much for the word. We thank you for all that it does to guide us and help us and and uh, keep us on the path. And, and uh, Lord Jesus, we are so appreciative of all that you've done. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you come and teach us this morning. Do all the all the speaking and the guiding and re revealing of the truth to us. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so yeah, we're in the book of James. This is Nancy and I's personal <clears throat> study that we've been doing while we were away from social media. And um, <clears throat> we, we, we got a little ways yesterday, but, um, you know, as, as is our habit, we're more interested in digging deep than we are about... Um, you know, getting a certain distance, and um, which has caused our past Bible studies to to hang out in one place for very extended periods of yeah. time. <clears throat> um, and you'll notice that if you if you uh, go to our, our our YouTube page, I am trying to get all the videos for our studying Colossians uploaded, and it's a um, it's a pretty drug out Time process. Consuming process. Good stuff, but you know, it's, 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 it takes a while. So, I'm trying to clean the videos up and get them focused. Anyway, so yesterday we were in verse two, um, and uh, <clears throat> now Nancy and I had, <clears throat> excuse me, Nancy and I had already discussed uh, a little further along. Excuse me. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and read um, down to. I'll just read the whole section there from two, uh, verse two down to verse eight. Oh, look, there it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, uh, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, no, no, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let no man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He uh, let that, <clears throat> but not don't start that sentence over. <laughs> for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. For he is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Okay, there's a ton of stuff in this paragraph, so. Let's go back to being my brother and count it all joy when you fall into various trials. Uh, we talked about yesterday mm -hmm. the, the joy, uh, how to have joy <clears throat> when the world's falling apart. And that that really there's it's a it's a simple formula. And the simple formula is you devote your thing, your, your life to the things of God. You want to live in joy? Pursue God. And that. There's a lot to that, but that's the easiest way to put it succinctly. Pursue God, come to know him, read his word, spend time with him in conversation, spend time in worship, get close to God. That's how you get joy. Every day. Every day. I remember that part. It's not just on Sundays when you go to church or whatever. It's which, every day. Which makes it sound like a lot of work, but it's really not. It can become part of your daily routine, your habits. Right. And it becomes the highlight of your day. So um, if you can imagine spending time with your very best, closest friend in the world and how much you would enjoy doing some, some of that every day, it's that and yet better. Mm -hmm. Coming to spend time with the Lord and listening to him. That is the key to joy, especially in your trials. All right, we went we went past that. So let's go to verse three. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. 
I know we have all said, I've said it so many times, God, give me patience. You know, when dealing with <laughs> kids. Or you're saying, you're testing my patience. <laughs> or you're testing my patience. Um, patience, uh, I don't know anybody that gets patience by a zap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <sighs> I have had <clears throat> miraculous healings in my body. You have. People we know that God has done Absolutely. miraculous healings. But I don't know anybody. I've never heard of a story. I've never heard of anybody saying, oh, I instantly had patience. <laughs> uh, patience is something that requires effort. And that's, yeah. that. you know, especially here in the United States, that's the last thing we don't want to have to put out for it. Heavens no. We don't want to spend, <laughs> we don't want to spend time trying to get patience but patience comes because we choose to walk that walk um i think one of the biggest most important this is just matt talking i'm sure there's scripture for this but mm -hmm. not, this is just matt talking mm -hmm. one of the biggest most important things that we can do for patience is to love See, patience comes because your kids, I mean, you know, we love our kids. We're enamored with them. I love spending time with, with kids and grandkids and, yeah. and talking on the phone or, or visiting with them, having dinner with them. I love that. There's, <clears throat> there's just a, a, a place of, you know, I mean, Christmas. We had the best Christmas yes, it ever. Was. It was amazing. Just hanging out with kids and grandkids. I mean, my children weren't there, and boy, did I miss them. Would have been wonderful. If that would have been, yeah, mm -hmm. the absolute cherry on the mm -hmm. on the top. But but there's just being there and enjoying conversation and chatting and you know eating together and it was wonderful. Yeah, it was, it was. awesome. Well, that love translates to the rest of our life. When you have patience with your kids, it's because you love your kids. Yeah. When you have patience with the driver, when you have patience with the driver <laughs> that cuts you off or doesn't use a turn signal or <clears throat> does this or do whatever, okay? Our patience with them is because of the love of Jesus inside of us for somebody we may never, ever meet. That's so important. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so And I is. think that is the, it's like the, you know, when you when you build a build uh, Legos, love Legos, okay. And I used to play with them all the time when I was a kid. So if we were going to build a house, what's the first thing we do? Make a foundation. We get that big piece, that big flat piece, and oh. that's the foundation. <laughs> yeah, that's love. That's like mm -hmm. the that's like it, you you everything that you know. Patience is up here at about the fourth story. Yeah, and you have to start off with love and build that. Until you get to that right. place of patience. Yeah. And then every story is a different type of patience. You know, we have patience for our spouse. We have patience for our children. We have patience for grandchildren. We have patience for coworkers. And we have patience for bosses. And we have patience for fellow Christians. And we have patience for the neighbor. And then we have patience. And, you know, and ultimately we're going that patience that happens because we learn to love the complete stranger mm -hmm. who does not know how to drive. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, and of course this goes on knowing mm -hmm. that the testing of your faith produces patience, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. What does it mean to be having our faith test? Well, it talks about, you know, trials. You come up into a trial of some kind, whatever it may be, financial right. or or bad bosses or whatever your trial may be that's fallen upon you. And you have to work through that with patience. And the testing of that causes you to be more patient because you know it's going to resolve or get better or, or whatever. What's the key to having uh, patience when our faith is tested? <laughs> Reading the word, praying... <laughs> Right. And what does all that produce? A joy. Joy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So so he says, count it all joy when you go through trials, 
knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. So God isn't asking us to do something that doesn't have results. Right. And I love that about this, that he's not saying, hey, look, I want you to go through this. I'm going to take you through this. You're going to, I mean, look at Job, mm -hmm. you know, what he went through or, or Jesus. Look what mm -hmm. Jesus went through. Mm -hmm. And Jesus hung on the cross and said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because they don't know what they're doing. That's a good excuse to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> but he loved and he walked through everything that he went through. And Hebrews says that for the joy set before him, the, the, the end results is what that means. For the joy set before him, he endured mm -hmm. unto, the, unto death. Mm -hmm. so, so what Jesus went through, he went through knowing the end results. What James is telling us is what you go through, you can go through with joy because you know the end results. See, I don't think we, I think, I think at least in my life, it says, Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. So patience, patience is the gold. Patience is the treasure. Patience is the end results of going through trials with joy. And I don't think we fully realize how vital and important patience is. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, pa <laughs> the, a lack of patience has started wars. Mm-hmm. It's caused the, the, the death and, and dismemberment and destruction of lives and nations. Right. Lack of patience. Yeah. A lack of patience. Yeah. So um, there is, a, and, and, that, and, and on, to add to, you know, to kind of um, 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 bring that to a better understanding, there is a point where patience has to stop and action has to happen. I understand that. But I think for life as a Christian, the greatest, one of the greatest attributes that we could ever walk in is, which is called the fruit of the Spirit. And that's patience or slash long suffering. Mm -hmm. Long suffering is a little more descriptive, <laughs> but um, it's, it's just, it's, and then he goes on to say in verse four, but let patient have, patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. So I think um, what he's trying to tell us, and we'll probably pick up right there. Yeah. <laughs> what he's trying to tell us is, hey, look, patience is a is a diamond in your crown. It's up to us to determine how big that diamond is, how important that is, and how much that becomes who we are. There is nobody who walked the earth who had more patience than Christ. Um, <laughs> yeah, we think about we think about how much we have to learn, and we're so blessed. We are so blessed to have the account uh, of the disciples because they were that you know the, the interesting thing about the disciples that we often forget is they had no precursor to Christianity. Mm -hmm. They were raised in Judaism, and they were raised as poor people, mm -hmm. with the exception of Matthew. And, and we don't know right. full, but Matthew was not a poor person. He became poor for the for the gospel. But we we know they had no precursor. We were raised in a Christian country and Christian morals, and it was very common. Christianity is very very common. You know, we've been. I don't know about you guys, but I've been celebrating Christmas since before I was born. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 all those kinds of things that that give us this foundation of Christianity long before we ever meet Jesus ourselves. So we have that advantage. You got to look at the disciples and realize the disciples were completely ignorant of what was coming. Yeah. And um, but at the same time, the disciples, these chosen chosen people uh, um, did and said some really dumb things <laughs> um, when he sent them out mm -hmm. and they came back and they said you know yeah. we, we weren't treated very well at this one particular community can we call down fire on them and burn them up <laughs> Uh, and the other one was where they came back and we ran into somebody who was doing all this kinds of wonderful things in your name, but we told them to stop because uh, they weren't part of our group. Right. I know. Unbelievable. Okay. 
you know, the, mm-hmm. the, the face plant. Jesus mm-hmm. must have done that a few more oh, than a few times. Yeah. But, you know, he's, he, he had patience with them and loved on them and nurtured them. And, and then he went to the cross and they all rejected him. They all walked away from him. You know, even Peter who said, I will never turn my back on you. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and as soon as Jesus, he's like, oh, he's the first guy to deny him. Mm-hmm. But Jesus' patience with them was so much that when he was done with the process of the cross and he came back out of the grave and he appeared to them, he loved on them and he took care of them and he guided them more and Anyway, so he had a great deal of patience. And we just have to remember that the patience that um, our relationship with God uh, creates in our lives is for a great purpose. And, 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 and I'll finish off with this. I'll say that patience is a choice. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Patience is a choice. We, we, a lot of things in our lives happen Mm-hmm. over time mm-hmm. you know that the person that we come to be happens over time but many you know i don't know how many times you know i've in my life i've experienced people who should have had patience and had none yeah me too and it's it really is a choice regardless of who you love and who's important in your life you have to choose to be patient uh, this is why we deal with child abuse and and all the other struggles that go on right um in life Anyway, let me pray for you guys really quick, and and then we'll close. Father, we love you, and we thank you for the word this morning. Thank you for blessing us. And Father, I just I pray that this uh, little snippet of Bible study will touch the hearts and draw people into greater patience and understanding of your grace. We are blessed with your patience with us, and we ask that you will help us and guide us into greater patience, enduring the trials. and and living through them with the joy that you give us freely. Bless those who get a chance to stop and watch, Lord, and thank you for all that you're doing in Nancy and my life. We are blessed beyond measure. In your name, we we thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, God bless you guys. Thanks for taking a moment to, to watch the study. If you guys are getting anything out of this, this is... This is just uh, for the month of January. Then we'll go back to our our uh, live Bible study, but it'll be on YouTube. So if you got questions about that, let us know. Uh, we're up to 34 subscribers, mm-hmm. I think it is. Mm-hmm. So we need 50 in order to be able to do live on YouTube. So if you want to pass it around, if you need a copy of this uh, to to get other people involved or whatever, just say the word and, and um, I think. I don't know what this will do. I, know. I guess that they can probably repost it to their it would seem like it. Facebook. Yeah. Anyway, play with it. Let people know. We love you guys. Thank you for being a part of our, our little group. We love it. Um, our world is beautiful and made so through people like you. We, got, we really appreciate your connection. So bless you guys. See you tomorrow.